I recorded this twice and uh, lost both, so <laughs> third try is the charm, I hope. Um, you brought up some good points about uh, corporations and the power of corporations. Uh, I voted your video one star, but retrospectively I think I should have given it two. I disagree with your conclusions, but I think you raised some important issues that are very much worth talking about, and I actually hope that uh, these subjects come up in future debates, because I'd like to hear uh, Ron Paul address these publicly through the old mass media. Uh, he's already got some commentary about this online if you want to look that up. I think you'll find his views are not nearly as disturbing as uh, you might have thought they are. Uh, my view, and I'm not an expert, but my view is that the key to reigning in the corporations is revocation of corporate charters. This should be done in some cases if need be. It should certainly be threatened in any case where a corporation uh, gets out of control. And the control should be by the creator of the corporation, um, and that's whoever incorporated it, as well as the government. Um, and the government is acting on behalf of the people, so that it's supposed to keep these corporations in line, um, give them freedom to operate and you know, make money and be successful, but not uh, allow them to become abusive. And so the people need to be vigilant over the government, the government needs to be vigilant over the corporations, and ultimately it all redounds back upon us as the people. The price of liberty being eternal vigilance, we have not been vigilant, and we've allowed the corporations to run roughshod over us, and we've allowed the government to run roughshod over us. So um, where the left tends to rail against corporations and the right tends to rail against government, they're both correct. I mean, both of them have a valid grievance, and we should um, make sure that both of those grievances are heard, and it's a both and, in my opinion, not a, an either or. I'm moving my microphone a little closer, so hopefully sound will be decent on this whole thing. I might have to do it the fourth time. Chomsky uh, seemed like he was ridiculing those who opposed the Federal Reserve and um, and the UN and, and, and all these globalist institutions, but I don't really know why he's ridiculing those people, because those are bad institutions. They are uh, not helpful for the average person. They are helpful only for a very, very few elite, and um, they're actually harmful for the average citizen. So they should be gotten rid of. I mean, it's not very hard to understand that if you take a good look at them. So I'm not sure what his point was, other than if, the, if people only focus on those and never look at corporations and the, the bad things that corporations do, um, then that is a short-sightedness, I agree. It's a, it's a uh, blind spot that needs to be remedied. But I don't think you do that by ridiculing people and you know, turning your nose up at them. You do it by educating the people. So I would hope that um, he, instead of putting them down for their opposition to bad institutions, he should applaud them and then say, by the way, there's a little more to the story as well. Take a look at this. And um, that's what I think we need to do since our so-called leaders don't seem to be doing a very good job of it. We the people uh, need to start talking amongst one another and educating each other and ourselves about this. Um, I come from a tradition on the right, but I've found that lately I've been listening quite a bit to those on the left and finding that while I don't share all their philosophies, um, a lot of their grievances are valid. And I would hope that that would be um, a pattern that would be adopted by everybody. Listen to everyone and make sure that we understand what we're talking about. Um, and not just react to the label on someone or the fact that they complained about X and assume that that means that they don't care about Y. Um, so that's about all I have for right now.